Hey hello everyone this is Ankit with another tutorial on Microsoft Excel in this tutorial we'll be learning about using filter function uh, without using our mouse the relevance of uh, uh, using filter function without our mouse is uh, especially for those who use uh, who works on uh, big databases and who frequently use uh, the filter function so it saves a uh, little time and it is more a uh, little convenient than using uh, mouse for filter and for other as well it's a, a new thing to learn as well and it's a, it's a little faster and convenient if you get a habit of using filter function without your mouse okay so uh, for for using filter function i have created a database uh, on my excel sheet it's a small database on which we'll be performing this function um, uh, uh, I'm I'm doing uh, uh, these examples on small databases because it takes a uh, good out amount of time to create a go good uh, huge database and perform function on that. So uh, I I demonstrate on small databases only. But trust me, I myself use these functions on huge databases having thousands of rows, hundreds of columns, and it really helps in increasing your speed in Microsoft Excel. So uh, let's begin with it. Uh, so, so first of all, there what the data I have is I have dates here. Uh, I have names here, random names. Uh, I have amount borrowed. I have borrowed certain amounts from these people, and I have lent certain amount to these people. And what is the net amount I have paid or I have received from these people? This is the what I have as a database. Okay, and now I want what I want is I want to put a filter and uh, uh, retrieve. Uh, for example, I want to retrieve it how much amount I have paid and received from my uncle and what is the net amount I have paid and received from him. So uh, there, uh, there may be several times. Max, for example, here it is uh, 500 rupees I have borrowed and I have lent 300 rupees net net. I have uh, borrowed 200 rupees. Okay, so there may be several times uh, uh, my uncle has been used in the, the database and I wanted to know that how many times on which date uh, dates I have borrowed or lent him and what is net amount that I have got from him or i have to i have paid uh, paid him okay so uh, how will uh, put a filter on this without using our mouse for example suppose we are uh, in case we are anywhere in the database in middle of it somewhere uh, down here and uh, we want to put a filter is just uh, then what we have to do is so first of all get to the top row that is the heading row of your database wherever your heading is so for getting to the heading what you have to do is just press control and up arrow key it automatically takes you to the top uh, row uh, provided there are no gaps and no blank rows uh, in between otherwise it will stuck at there and you have to press uh, uh, control up arrow till you reach to the top of the of your database uh, of your database or off at the top of your excel sheet top row of your excel sheet okay now uh, what uh, next uh, next thing what you have to do is uh, select the first row for select the headings of our databases to put a filter on so uh, there are various manners of selecting your first row you what you can do is just go to the extreme uh, left of the database then control shift plus right arrow then again control shift plus right arrow then again right arrow and now uh, then control shift plus down arrow and now like this you can select your database and put a filter but instead of doing this a more convenient way of doing this is for example uh, if i if i have got, got here okay if i have uh, uh, press control plus up arrow and I reached at the E column and um, if I do control plus shift or reach to the uh, leftmost area and select the data it, it uh, consumes a little more time so instead of doing that what we'll do is we'll press shift plus spacebar what shift plus spacebar does is it selects the entire row uh, in which you uh, have the heading or uh, okay which whichever cell you are if you press control plus uh, uh, spacebar it will select that entire row uh, 
uh, what is the benefit of doing is that for example if you have uh, hundreds of columns out here it's it is very difficult and if, especially if there are any spaces like in the d column uh, in between then it, it it takes a huge amount of time to press control shift and uh, right arrow left arrow and to select that particular area so instead of doing that what you do what we'll do is we'll uh, press shift plus space bar so it will select the complete row next what we have to do is uh, the shortcut key for uh, applying filter is control plus shift plus L control plus shift plus L what it does is it applies filters to whole of the uh, database one thing that has to be kept in mind in uh, doing this is if especially uh, if there are any uh, blank rows in between of your database then there will be a problem because uh, then uh, if I put control shift L on the top row only then it will select the database up till when there uh, is a blank cell post that it will not consider the data so for that we have to either remove the blank cells or uh, select the whole of the data to put a filter on okay now uh, once we have done uh, shift space bar and then control shift L now we have applied filter now how to uh, get so to a certain name or something uh, or a date or an amount especially what i want to find without using our mouse okay we will we'll not be using a mouse so uh, for example i want to uh, filter for mayank that on which dates i have borrowed from mayank i have lent to mayank and what is the net amount okay what i'll do is i uh, went to the name uh, column i press alt plus down arrow key it opens the filter okay now one next is we are pressed down uh, down down arrow key again down arrow key down arrow key down arrow key down arrow key and down arrow key till i reach the uh, list part okay now what i want is i want to select only mayank and i uh, want only data uh, regarding mayank so uh, to deselect all uh, to uh, remove the tick mark what we do is we press space bar the space bar uh, all are removed now I again move down down arrow key down arrow key down arrow key down arrow key I want to select mank okay so I again press space bar it selects mank I press enter okay so here's your data get filtered on uh, these these dates 3rd November 9th November 15th November and 21st November I borrowed and lent to uh, mank these are my amounts this is my net amount that i've borrowed or lent okay now the next thing uh, uh just an addition over it suppose if i want to know that uh, what is the total of the net amount that i whether i have to pay to him or i have received from him okay so uh instead of if i use a sum function here so what will happen is if i use a sum function here like uh, i use a sum function here the answer I'm getting is minus 100 but actually what should be the answer is it's 200 minus 100 means my uh, 100 positive and then minus 400 that is minus 300 negative and then again minus 100 is minus 400 negative but what I'm getting is minus 100 so uh, the answer uh, is that we cannot use sum like this that is after applying filter we cannot use sum why because if you see uh, in uh, in the leftmost uh, type there are rows in between these uh, the filtered area that is after one there is four four after fourth uh, row there is tenth row after tenth row there is sixteenth row and then uh, directly twenty second row so when I uh, put a sum function what I can do is uh, in sum function I can select particular cells for example equal to sum this and i use my mouse um, i'm using my mouse that's uh, to just to explain that it is an option what you can do but i will not be using my mouse and what to get to the actual answer so what you can the alternative is to select it and then put a comma then select it then put a comma okay this is one of the options to sum uh, the net numbers but you can't directly put a some formula sorry uh, you can't directly put a uh, just a second here. You can't directly put a sum formula like this because it will also add up the rows in between 
this filtered part okay so instead of using some formula what we use is a subtotal formula subtotal formula i click tab now uh, in this it provides a multiple options that what kind of subtotal you want you want average of the data you want count count a max min i'll be talking about uh, a lot most of these uh, formulas that what these formulas does but for the timing i'll do is what i want is i want to sum the above data okay so i'll see where it is it is on ninth number ninth number says sum so i what i can do is go die in here and then press tab or instead i can directly write nine and press comma and then i can choose my database i'm choosing my database from here to here i press enter so it's coming minus 400 the answer answer which actually should be okay so i hope you have liked the video uh, just one more thing uh, before ending it in case you want to just after doing all your stuff you want to you have checked everything and you want to remove your filters so what you have to do is just control shift l you need not to select any uh, data or anything you just have to press control shift l and it will the filter will automatically uh removed okay so um, this brings me to the end of this video hope you liked it uh, i'll be coming up with more such videos soon okay bye bye good night